Welcome to this video tutorial about attaching new copies or items to bib records in Evergreen version 2.3. Before you begin, you should know how to search for and call up a bib record in the staff client. You'll have already created a copy template that you'll use for the item you're going to add. And finally, if you're adding an item that has been separated into parts, you'll need to go to that part of the cataloging manual. Today I'm adding a copy of Creating Room to Read to our collection. In Evergreen, a physical item that is part of a collection is called a copy. A copy is part of a volume, which we refer to as a call number, and each call number is linked to a bib record. We begin in the staff client where we've called up the bib record for the item that we're adding. From here, I select Add Volumes, either from the Actions for this Record drop-down menu or the Add Volumes link in the upper left corner of the screen. This displays the Volume and Copy Creator screen. Before we invoke a copy template, we need to make sure that these fields in the Volume and Copy Creator section are populated correctly. The number of volumes we're adding defaults to one. This means that one call number will be created. We can attach one or many items to this call number, but for this lesson we're just adding one. Attaching multiple copies is covered in the following section of the cataloging manual. Evergreen populates the classification field using an administrative setting in the database. Public libraries in our network are set up to use the Dewey Decimal System. Academic libraries use the Library of Congress classification system. The call number is retrieved from the bib record. You can modify the call number here, or as I'm doing, you can simply delete the number that appears and enter your own. We complete our call numbers with the author's name or the cutter number. Use tab or enter to enter the value and move the cursor to the next field. The system assumes we're adding only one copy, skips that field, and goes to the next one, which is the barcode. I use the barcode that we've chosen to assign. Evergreen will check to make sure that this number hasn't already been used. You'll see that in a minute. So overall, we've entered the call number and a barcode. When that's completed, we're ready to apply the appropriate template. To do this, we move our attention to the template bar and click the drop-down list to find the template that we want to apply. In this case, the system has already identified my adult nonfiction template because that's the last one that I accessed. I make sure that the correct one is selected, then I click Apply. Now we scroll down to our copy viewer. Notice that my location, circulation modifier, price, and all the statistical category fields have been set in the single step of applying my copy template. Unless I want to make any more modifications to this item record, I'm done. I'll go to close my tab, but guess what? I haven't saved it yet. I get this warning, I say cancel to go back, and click on the create volumes or items button to save my work. Now since the barcode I put in is taken, I get an error message. I go back and update my barcode to the next one in the sequence. Click create volumes or items. This time, I'm successful. So I'm back on my bib record where I can now verify that my item was added. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.